for you guys. Which monitor are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. LG 27 UL850 – Best for Most People The LG UHD 27 UL850 monitor is built with Max in mind as its input options show. It optimizes color performance by using hardware calibration through the True Color Pro software with impressive contrast and deep blacks. If you choose the editing monitor, you'll have access to a 10-bit color depth with over a billion colors. You could also apply natural shadings and smooth gradations that will help you achieve realistic images. For many, the LG 27UL850 is a 27-inch 4K monitor that ticks all of the necessary boxes. It has an Ultra HD resolution and HDR, plus HDMI ports and a USB-C connection. It also has a quick response time, decent brightness, a matte anti-glare screen, a height-adjustable stand and bundled software to help tune the display to your exact needs. The 27UL850 also includes speakers, though their quality isn't sufficient for video editing. If you're looking for a second screen for video editing on a MacBook Pro, this is an affordable option well worth considering. If you're looking for a great all-rounder of a 4K, 27-inch display that can work with a USB-C computer during the day and an HDMI game console or streamer in the evening, you should certainly have the LG 27UL850 on your shortlist. Number 4. ISO CG279X – Best High-End Monitor This ISO CG279X screen is at the top of the ISO 27-inch monitor hierarchy and therefore part of the Color Edge range. At first glance, this is the best 27-inch screen with only the 4K missing – QHD, Matte Panel, Adobe RGB, Rec 2020, HDR, HLG, Lookup Table or LUT, 10 to 16 bits. To this, you add an automated internal calibration and validation of it by all current certifications, ISO 12646 standards, and its custom shading hood. Everything to make it a reference screen. The ISO has a DisplayPort 1.3 connection, an HDMI 1.4 port, and a DVI-D connector. And around the rear, there are two USB 2 ports and a USB 3.1 Type-C port that supports DisplayPort and provides 15 watts of power. There are two more USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, and they're helpfully positioned on the left-hand bezel. The ISO has superb image quality, and it also impresses elsewhere. It's packed with features. It has virtually every setting required for print, photography, and video, including HDR. It's got self-calibration, a huge number of OSD options, and decent connectivity and adjustment. It's also not perfect. There could be better connectivity. That contrast could be a little higher, and some people may prefer a 4K screen for its improved space and sharpness. If you don't need 4K but do need near-perfect colors alongside loads of features, then the ISO ColorEdge CG279X is a superb option for creative professionals. Number 3. BenQ SW2700PT – Best Mid-Range Option this monitor is dedicated to professionals, such as graphic designers, photographers, and visual artists that require super accurate results, and this monitor delivers perfect features for their needs. It has amazing calibration features, a great shading hood, SD card reader, a great stand, superb panel technology, and many more. The base and stand of this monitor are pretty good as well, as the stand delivers great adjustability such as tilt, height, swivel, and you can even set it on portrait mode. Overall, the monitor is pretty solidly built and it will last you for a long time thanks to its durability. On the rear of the monitor, you'll see the Visa mount holes for aftermarket solutions and the connectivity ports including a display port, an HDMI port, a DVI port and an analog audio port. Going to the left side, you'll spot the two USB ports, the aforementioned SD card reader and a mini USB port for the OSD. The BenQ SW2700PT is packed with a great 27-inch 2560x1440 resolution advanced hyper-viewing angle panel with a matte screen on top. This panel offers amazing colors and superb viewing angles, and it also has a 14-bit lookup table that delivers amazing color reproduction, achieving a full reproduction of the Adobe RGB range. This monitor is the definite best in BenQ's lineup, and while it's not the best choice for the casual user, it is perfect in the hands of a professional. Number 2. Asus ProArt Display PA278QV Best Runner-Up 
The best monitor in the budget category for graphic design and other works we've tested is the Asus ProArt Display PA278QV. It's a professional-looking model with a large 27-inch screen and a 1440p resolution. The Asus Pro Art Display PA278QV is a very good budget-friendly monitor that's intended for creative professionals. Its superb ergonomics, high peak brightness, and wide viewing angles make it a good fit for nearly any type of workspace. It comes with good color accuracy out of the box, and it has an excellent SDR color gamut. However, it can't display a wide color gamut and doesn't support HDR. It has impressive gaming performance despite its professional-looking design, as it has a fast response time, adaptive sync support, and a 75Hz refresh rate that makes fast motion look just a little bit more fluid. It has good out-of-the-box color accuracy and an excellent SDR color gamut with near full coverage of the sRGB color space. However, its Adobe RGB coverage is only decent and may not be good enough for professional photo editors. Its response time is great, it has an optional black frame insertion feature, and its native 75Hz refresh rate makes motion look slightly more fluid, such as when scrolling quickly through a document or when gaming. It supports adaptive sync to reduce screen tearing, and is compatible with FreeSync and G-Sync sources. Number 1. BenQ SW271 – Best Overall the BenQ SW271 is among the most purchased monitors for photo editing, and you've likely seen its name popping up numerous times on the internet, which is yet another good proof of the quality this monitor offers. First and foremost, the design is gorgeous. It has plenty more amazing features that you should check out. I really like the cabinet and the overall build quality because BenQ has done a great job in implementing thin bezels and an ergonomic stand that offers 45 degrees swivel in each direction, tilt for 20 degrees backward, 5 degrees forward, and 150 millimeters of height adjustment. The BenQ SW271 has a total of three input ports for connecting your devices, two HDMI 2.0, one DisplayPort 1.4, and one Thunderbolt USB Type-C port. These are quite sufficient to connect a number of different devices. Moreover, what makes the SW271 successful is not only its 4K resolution, but the colors. To be more precise, this unit includes dedicated modes for sRGB, Rec. 709, DCI-P3, Adobe RGB, and since it supports HDR, the blacks and whites will be increased, so the end result will be truly spectacular. Colors are very accurate and look vibrant, so I can easily say that this unit is one of the most accurate displays that you can encounter on the market. Buying Guide Size Monitor size is measured diagonally, usually in inches. A handful of monitors smaller than 20 inches are available, but most are between 21 and 30 inches across. Larger monitors provide more workspace for complex programs with lots of on-screen menus such as photo editors and spreadsheets, so if you're an average user, aim for a monitor no smaller than 21 inches. Ports You'll also need to observe which ports you'll need. Most current laptops, for example, use one or more of the following for display connections – HDMI, DisplayPort, USB-C, or Thunderbolt 3. You'll also want to double-check to see if your chosen monitor can effectively connect with your laptop. Panel Type The panel type is a pretty important choice you need to make before buying a new monitor. There are generally three panel types out there, which consist of twisted pneumatic, vertical alignment, and in-plane switching panels, and you'll need to choose the one that fits your needs the most. TN panels are the fastest and are more dedicated to gamers because they sacrifice a bit of color. IPS panels, on the other hand, deliver better colors and better viewing angles at a higher price. VA panels sit in the middle of both and are generally better for office use but suffer from ghosting most of the time. Refresh Rate Ideally, you want a monitor with at least a 75Hz refresh rate combined with the lowest response time you can find. Refresh rate is particularly important for gamers, so most gaming monitors have a refresh rate of at least 120Hz, the fastest available is 360Hz, and you'll want a maximum response time of 5ms.